One of the most important elements of a decision tree is payoff. Most of the time, your payoff would be a single number representing revenue, utility value, or quality adjusted life year, etc. But what if you have more than one criterion? When you are buying a house, your criteria can be space, number of bedrooms, number of garages, distance from a school, school rating, etc. And when you would score a house option, you will evaluate each criterion attribute and combine the attributes to a single number as a score for that option. SpiceLogic Decision Tree software lets you define a payoff in terms of single or multiple criteria. You can also choose to use cost effectiveness criteria, but we have a separate video for cost effectiveness analysis. In this video, we will focus on regular multi-criteria decision analysis. Okay, let's model a decision tree where you are choosing a house based on various criteria. Let's model the decision tree first. Say you have three house options, so create three actions here. Now, click the Payoff button from the flyover menu of one action node. Click on the regular multi-criteria button. Okay, here we will define our first criteria. Before going into the deep, let me clarify something about the criteria modeling tool. You can have various types of attributes like subjective type, number type, and yes, no type. Say you want your house to be beautiful. How will you measure beauty? It is a subjective type, right? And say you want to minimize the cost of the house. Here, the cost is a numerical type, right? From this dropdown, you can choose the type of your criterion. The first two types, maximize and minimize, are for the subjective and numerical types. These options are for yes, no, or Boolean type. The last option in this dropdown is for categorical type. Now let's model the first criterion, maximize space. Now proceed. Select the numerical type and proceed. Now you can define the range of the value of space. Okay, now let's add the next criterion, minimize cost. Same as before, set up a range for the cost criterion. Now add another criterion, maximize beauty. This must be a subjective type. We already gathered three criteria. Let's set up another criterion, which is a Boolean type or yes, no type. That is, must have a good neighborhood. Okay, we are done with the criteria modeling. Now it is time to decide how the criteria attributes will be combined into a single number. You have various choices. You can use pairwise comparisons so that weight will be calculated for each criterion using the same algorithms that we use for analytic hierarchy process. Then the final score for an option will be calculated based on the weighted sum method. You can also assign a weight directly from here. Finally, you may use a custom expression for combining these criteria. Here you can drag and drop criteria visually to edit your math expression. See that you can use various functions like exponential, logarithm, square root, and many math operators, brackets, etc. You can make the expression as complex as you want. Give a name to your expression if you want. Once you are done, proceed to the decision tree. In the decision tree, you will see this payoff editor where you can set attributes for each criterion. Now, check the tooltip or expected value metric of each node. This expected value is calculated based on the method you have chosen for combining the criteria. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please reach out to our help desk if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for watching.